What you see here are two cars that, at, at first glance, have a lot in common. Both are low-slung, fun to drive, and V10 powered. Both cars have wonderful exhaust notes. Go ahead and start them up. LFA on the left, subdued. Viper on the right. Sounds like some sort of angry monster. And you also, and you also notice, as you start to dig deeper and drive these cars, the two completely different teams designed them. The LFA and the Viper have much less in common than we may think. We'll start with the drag race. Launch control's active. Gonna count from three, two, one, go! Off the line, LFA pulls very, very hard. The short gearing's really helping it here. But this advantage wanes very quickly because by around 130 or 140, Viper's high-end torque kicks in and it's gone. Watch this. He's gonna he's just gonna walk right past me. Look at that. And at that point there's no there's no sense in even trying to beat it in a drag race. Basically the longer stretch of road the Viper's got, the faster it goes. And it it goes all the way to 220 and beyond very easily. Now, that's just one difference. The LFA will grip through turns. Viper, it'll drift. I'm trying to get, show my buddy drifting it, but it doesn't take much to get it drifting. Whereas the LFA takes a lot to get it drifting. You see this a lot in twisty roads and tight turns. LFA is more composed. Viper is very balls out and in your face. I'll head to the highway now and see just how different these cars really are. Just on the gas, or you're using the brakes. No e-brakes necessary to drift for that car. Whereas the LFA, if I use normal brakes, it's hard to get it to drift. See? Look at that grip. Now, see the Viper, he already just wagged his tail in front of me. He didn't have to try to make that happen. Look at that. You see that the LFA was more designed for with handling in mind. Speed second. Viper, speed first, handling second. Yeah. Oh! See? Even there. I had to hit a car and bounce off a wall to get the car to start drifting. Both cars have, are similar with regards to their suspension. They both tend to be rather firm, and they're not very good in the dirt. LFA especially, with the latter. I'm not surprised. It's a muscle car. Slightly better dirt handling. I mean, you know, these aren't cars you take in a race on train tracks or on dirt tracks, but... You know, if you have to go onto dirt, it won't kill you. It just won't be very fun. Yep, coming on the left. Another place where you see is levels of confidence. The LFA is a car I can just jump right into and start racing with. I don't. It doesn't take me long to warm up with it at all. I mean, within a mile or two, I'm good to go. The Viper, I, I can't drive that. It scares me. It wants to kill me. It makes me fear for my life. That's not gonna last. It's not gonna last. Look at this. He did, he, no nitrous necessary. The A44 or the V10 is a screamer. The longer the road is straight for, the better off the Viper will do. I mean, in events at the airport especially. You also see it in the tunnel. This could be anyone's game. I mean, you got more speed coming in, but... Nope, I hit the wall. 